All she's doing is putting an act so she can get back to you. I don't care if she's actually hurting. I don't care if she feels away. I don't care how bad she wants you. Unless something actually goes and happens to change, then that means it's a no way. They go, they come back, they go and come back and wait until you take them back. She has to go and earn the way to get to you. talking about what to do when she comes running back to you so this is all about what you should do when you're in a situation of not knowing what to do when that female is right in front of you okay so i took a while to do this video because of the fact that it's easier to really explain this when I have an exact scenario and I can say, oh, this is the best thing to do. In this case, this is what you should actually do. But what I decided to do is kind of give you more of what's common that happens out here when a woman comes back to a man and the best strategies that are more top things that you can do, okay? So you guys already know the routine. Make sure you check out my Patreon. Please do, please do. I told you guys, you get videos on there that you'll never see on here. I'm actually gonna have some features on there, only on there. And of course, make sure you do because you get to see personal life and live stream is still going to be coming for y'all okay so other than that you know the second youtube channel head on to that subscribe and if you did thank you my other social media if i haven't already said it and of course if you want to book a consultation make sure you go ahead and email me and so let's get into it so i have three points down this is more of a discussion not a rant but like you know just chit chat with you okay so the first point that i wrote down is still be unavailable because she still has to earn you so when a woman comes back running to you even though she came running back to you the job isn't finished yet so basically take it like this when she comes running back to you you get a little trophy because yeah congrats to you that you figured out you know how to get her back or you've been so distracted and she came back which is normally what happens right but you get a little trophy because the job is not done yet. What you do after when she comes back is what's actually more important than her coming back. Because if she doesn't come back, it's still congrats to you. Like somebody got taken out of your life by God, a woman that wasn't for you. So it's a blessing. But you can't think, oh, yeah, I got her. She's coming right back. Yeah, it's nice. But the next steps is when you actually turn down somebody or you can say no to somebody the hardest things that people can do nowadays because because of the love that they have for somebody right so when i say still be unavailable because she still has to earn it once she comes back you are still like this the wall has to be right in front of her she has to climb the wall figure out how she's gonna climb the wall to get to the other side to get back to you or you can take it like this a door she has to knock on the door and she has no key to get it in but she has to go through all these obstacles to find a key so she can open that door to get to you that's what it is just because you got to knock on the door that's not good enough right that's not good enough at all because the door is still locked and guys are opening up the door for her and giving her free entrance without her working hard to find a key it doesn't work like that tell her to go find the key not literally that but you need to go tell her to find a key because of the fact that if she just gets a free entrance in just from her knocking after she left you which is leaving that place that you're staying at with her and then she comes right back and just can walk right in what was the whole purpose what was the whole purpose of you telling her, oh, I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to see you. What was the purpose of everything that you do in life? What was the purpose? There was no purpose because you allowed yourself to come right back down after building yourself back up. And that's why I feel like people really forget, just generally speaking, like you have to remember just because you did so much to get up there, you can fall back down and that's how you can finish. If you can't keep yourself up there and you fall right back down, guess what? You, you failed. And I hate to say that, but you failed because it's not really about how you start. It's about how you finish. People are so successful and then somehow they go bankrupt or something goes completely wrong. And look it, nobody's going to remember all that you did to become that way. Maybe they'll say, oh yeah, you did that, a little bit of this and that. But what people will really remember is how things ended. And that's why it's like when a woman comes back into your life and you just let her walk into 
that door without opening up that door with finding the key from doing all these things that she hasn't been doing being respectful to you loving you showing that she cares about you being a wife all of that then jokes on you at the end so when she comes back she has to earn it to be in your life so that means when i say you're not available still Everything that you are doing to be distracted, to build on yourself, to work on yourself, stay focused on that. So that means when she knocks on the door or she's on the other side of the wall, you are not there. <laughs> you are not there at all. You're not there standing waiting at the door or the wall. What you're doing is working on yourself, working out, getting bigger, making more money, trying to figure out how to make more money. You are going hard. And while you're doing all that, she's going to be figuring out how to get back to you. So what i'll really say to finish this up is don't give her access to you easily at all she has to earn it after she's done everything to get the access to you then she's figured out how to come back to you it's not for you to assist her or help her at all you have to continue to work on yourself and lastly when she does come back to you because she's earned it and did everything she has to continue to keep earning it and not only that you have to keep working on yourself and being on your purpose and going harder the same way okay so don't change don't change when she comes back it's not you're doing things because of her and if you want to say it's because of her it's not just because of her have a bigger purpose than just her okay so let's move on to the next thing on my list and i am getting a little hot because of the fact that i have the heat on um well i just turned it off but it's still hot in the air so maybe i'll wipe myself a few times and i just filmed two other videos you guys and these lights are getting to me <laughs> next thing on my list is go even harder because that's what's killing her so i just said make sure you're going harder make sure you're going even harder than you ever did before i just said make sure you don't change any of that make that keep going now when i add oh it's killing her it's killing her because in the meantime when she's still trying to figure out how to get back to you how to have you again she has to still deal with you she still has to deal with this. In the meantime, take it like this. With the next point that I'm saying, although she's earning you again, although she's going hard, she's figuring out how to get that key so she can open that door to get to you, you have to take it like this. The walls are see-through. The door that she's trying to find the key to is see-through. So that means she sees right through and she can see that you're not paying attention to her. She's constantly knocking at that door and you don't even pay any mind. You're not worried about her coming back into your life. She sees it right through that see-through door, but she can't open up that door and walk through because she doesn't have a key. So in the meantime, it's killing her to watch you continue to be distracted and live your own life and actually not show her er, and not show and not show her any attention. And then on top of that, she has to go and earn the way to get to you. And that's finding the key. You have to do that because it's killing her and she needs to be killed. <laughs> Not literally, but she needs to be because of the fact that that's what gets to her. That's what gets to her in here. In here, that's where you guys want to touch. You guys need to get to these females' heart because nowadays they have a whole double, triple lock on it. And they're super cold hearted. And if you can break all that and get to that, trust me, you'll hit a soft side for these girls. You'll hit that soft side for these girls and it'll just be like, wow. <laughs> it's that easy so remember you do have to kill her in the process not literally but let me use a different term you do have to get to her in the process so she can hurt and feel the hurt that you have been put through from her okay so let's move on to the next point and my last point and this is no change no way okay so that means this half-assed job that females are doing this okay this is her i love using examples so let's say this for this last point the door is right there. The see-through wall is right there, right? The brick wall that is not brick, can be whatever, but it's see-through somehow, right? So, for her, she's over here begging at the door, right? She's banging, banging. I want, I want you to give me attention. Do you not see me? Do you not see me? She's banging. Open up the door. I need to come in. I need to see you. I want you. She's on her knees begging you, please. She's on her knees, you guys. She thinks that the begging, the crawling, the crying, the wanting you so bad and showing it, not actually doing anything, but showing it with the face expression, with holding her hands together, being on her knees is good enough. So what has changed? Nothing has changed but her just 
trying to get to your head and fill it in your head that, oh yeah, I've changed now. Things are different now. That means all she's doing is putting an act so she can get back to you. I don't care if she's actually hurting. I don't care if she feels away. I don't care how bad she wants you. Unless something actually goes and happens to change, then that means it's a no way. So all this begging that she's doing at the door, banging, doing all that, you still don't pay no mind to it. You don't pay any attention to it. So after she's done, you know, crying, huh, feeling bad for herself, wanting you bad, you know, all that stuff, the pettiness or just, oh, I love you, I need you, all that stuff. When, once the act is done, she's eventually going to have to get up. She's going to get tired of just doing that because it's not working for her. The attention is not working. You're not paying her any mind, right? She's going to get her little bum up, her big bum, whatever you want to say. And then she's going to walk. And it's either she's going to walk and say bye to you and say forget you and then go her separate way. Or she's just going to talk her ish and then go back and then come back to you and do the same thing and cry and cry and cry. Then leave again and then come back and cry and cry until you take her back. Or it's going to be this last step that you want where she goes and she figures out how to get that key. She works hard to get that key. She finds the biggest ways that she can do anything. And she, it's all risk, but she's willing to do it. She's really at a place of she's really about you. She's really, really about you. And you have to remember, she has to want you. So how bad does she want that key so she can get you? If she wants that key so bad and she's doing everything that you asked her to do, all the obstacles that you set up and she's went through all of it and figured it out and got the key, it just shows how bad she wanted you, right? But a lot of girls aren't going to take that third route. One, two, three. They're not going to take that third route. Matter of fact, they'll probably just take the second route where they go, they come back, they go and come back and wait until you take them back. You want it to be where she works hard and earns what you are wanting from her. And then after all that, you have to remember, that's the type of stuff that humbles a female. That's the type of stuff that makes a female realize, wow, I love this man. And that's one thing that's really true. Like sometimes people don't even know how they feel about somebody. They don't know how they really feel because they don't even know what's so valuable. They don't recognize how valuable somebody is. They don't see their potential. And that's why when you are working hard and doing all that stuff, she's seeing it. Now I can't guarantee that, oh yeah, she's gonna stay and she's gonna be doing this forever or a long time. No, but the difference is the second that she says, oh, I'm not with it, and now she's not doing anything anymore, that's when you say, no way. Now, if the games are happening, that's when it's a no way. Although she went and found the key and got the key and opened up the door and came back into your life, doesn't matter. That's not good enough. What really matters is that she keeps that going. And if she doesn't, it's a no way. So no change, no way. No change completely. Although the change showed in the beginning when she actually went and got the key and that she's willing to do all that to actually have your heart, that's not good enough if it's not going to last forever, okay? So I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on my social media. Make sure you check out my Patreon. And of course, make sure you email me if you would like to book a consultation. And you guys will see me in my next video. Bye, you guys.